Inside the Ropes, taking you behind the scenes of tournament preparation. Uh, we ironed out a few uh, glitches from yesterday and, and things went very well. The main one was when we crossed the road from our maintenance shop, security was uh, scanning everybody's badge, so that, that was a log jam coming out of there, so uh, it went much faster today. Um, we, we've been telling the guys, the, our volunteers and, and members of staff, that um, not only are they practice rounds for the golfers, but they're practice rounds for us too. And um, just due to the, lo the logistics of making it through two championship weeks, um, we're having to rotate um, our members of staff through and uh, sometimes we see new faces and uh, they've got to learn the job. And just anything that needs blown or clean, that's what we'll take care of, okay? So we'll pay extra attention to where they dump their buckets in the carts, they spill some stuff, we'll clean that up. Day two went real well and I think day three and four will just get better and better each day. Yeah, we're always looking to improve every day. So yesterday we had some hiccups with some equipment not being loaded properly or you know, some things not in the right place when we got out there. So we always try to get better every day a little bit. So we fine tuned and got some order of operations switched up where we got some guys out earlier that needed to be out a little earlier and changed a few things up. But I feel like we improved a lot this morning. Uh, yesterday, yesterday morning, we were probably 15 minutes slower than we were this morning. So that was a big improvement to go ahead and get out and get our things done so the setup team could get out a little bit sooner and do their thing. Yeah, it was a little, a little breezy yesterday morning, cloudy, couldn't see, not a lot of dew. And this morning there was some dew so the guys mowing could see where they were going and didn't have any skips or any misses, so that's always good. A little help when it's mowing at 4.30 in the morning and it's dark and all you've got is a small headlight. We also wanted to really include everybody that works every day in golf course maintenance at Pinehurst. Um, as of last week, we just got our ninth golf course, so we have nine golf courses of golf course maintenance crew members and being able to use those guys who are invested in Pinehurst and spend a lot of time here. Maybe they don't work every day on course two, but they work on the other courses. And so for them to be able to realize, hey, you know what, I'm mowing a green for the U.S. Open, or I'm setting the tee markers for a U.S. Open, or raking a bunker, that's something that they don't necessarily get to do. And so being a crew member at Pinehurst and golf course maintenance, that's pretty special for them to come over, even though they may not work on course two every day to participate in the U.S. Opens. Logistically, we just don't have the housing and the capabilities to, to offer um, a big volunteer support from out of town. So it was important to, to gain that support uh, within Pinehurst employees and, and make it possible. And again, rotating through to allow them breaks to get through the two weeks because it is a huge challenge, not only physically but mentally. And, uh, and, and they're an important asset to Pinehurst and we, we want to make sure that they enjoy it, experience it well. Uh, several of the courses, you know, they have the tents on them and the, you know, all the NBC parking and, and you name it. Uh, so they're closed. Those guys are available. They want to be a part of it. Uh, we know them. We were able to train them earlier, you know, so they're familiar with course two. And, uh, you know, it's just great. I mean, they see it coming and they want to be a part of it. And it's, it's been a, a pleasure seeing the smile on their faces. Plus the area superintendents and, and some of their guys from their crews are, are, are helping us out big time. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's more of a community thing. We've, we've got the resources, so, uh, you know, I hate that we can't please everybody, but, but you gotta take care of the, the people you see and know the most, you know.